Okay, so this is the hotel here. It's like the little lobby area. It looks very, very nice. Let me explore. So this is where you get dropped off or picked up or Uber pick up right here, right in front. So if you have a car service or Uber or you're coming from the airport, this is the main entrance. One way in, one way out kind of kind of deal. And there's like a ballroom down there. Oh, there's a restroom too. This cool mirror. So we're gonna get an elevator. We're gonna go to room. Let me see here. Wow, this, guys, let me tell you, before this was all like pictures of uh, Texas wild animals and stuff like that. And so now it's, uh, looks different. Here's the elevator. It says please use key card, but I didn't and it worked. So, you know, I'm part of the elevator YouTube review community. So this elevator I feel needs a facelift. There is a bar on the 15th floor in the restaurant. Look at this marble flooring, beautiful. Here's the Galleria Mall right there in the Cheesecake Factory, Joey's Uptown, Chanel, Tiffany's, Dillard's, Neiman Marcus. And you got the shopping centers like Nordstrom's Rack and Marshall's and Home Goods and then Firm Space and then uh, Starbucks right here in the corner. Okay, so I am the worst at these though. The flooring has changed. This is a newly renovated um, building. I'm really excited about it. Okay, hold on. <gasps> it worked. Oh, absolutely fabulous, Oprah. Look at this. So, if you guys remember... If I shot, uh, if I remember to, I'll put the link down below to what this used to look like. And this is the upgrade. Now, some nights, this room is like $123. Um, and then sometimes it's like $160. I'm just going to open the curtains here. Uh, you got your barn style sliding. I'm really excited. Like, this is a really cool upgraded renovation to the Sheraton by the Galleria. Um, there is the freeway right here. I love the freeway view. I love it. I wake up, I see the people moving and shaking. It gets me motivated to work. If I face the other way, it's just very calm and serene and I, I feel like I don't wanna do anything, if that makes sense. Um, you have live TV on here and there's an LG television okay and then we will go to you can like find like fun stuff to watch if you want to but lg television you have plenty of storage here this is so like i said it looks very modern and chic but very farmhouse beautiful look hi guys what's up i love this is so neat mm-hmm Touch, touch, you saw that? Good pressure. Let's see what we have here. Lotion, Q-tips. You need to bring your own toothbrush. Walk-in shower. Let's see the brands. So it is Olive Brand Botanicals. So it's giving you that organic type of feel, although I don't know if that is, you have a seat to get ready right here. You have closet space right here. Mm hmm. Let's turn on some lights. Cute. Here's some artwork here. Let's see. Let's open up the Let's open this up a little bit. Let some light in here. 
It is uh, 40 degrees outside. I believe today is Wednesday. And so you can see that this is the main entrance you pull in where I showed you earlier. So you have like this port -a So if it's raining or your car service pulls up or your friend or whatever picks you up, um, you won't get wet. So you have the flags out there, which I love that, the flags. And they're at full attention. And then down that way, you have a CVS pharmacy. Let me zoom in on it. There's CVS pharmacy right there, a nail salon, nail spa, but also on the other side too, there's also a nail salon spa. So a lot of choices to, uh, to do. Let's see, this TV is also an LG, but if you, if you know renovation, if you know it, then you can see some of the, what I, what I like to call almost like a veneer. Um, so you can see like, for example, like this is still here and this looks very old and dated, the vents. In a lot of new places, they'll put the vents up there that, you know, somewhere kind of like conspicuous um, like that. But what really sets the tone for this renovation is you have these beautiful lacquers here. And I love these. Traditionally, these would go at the very top up there. Um, and people tend to call that crown molding. And then also what shows its age is this. Almost like a veneer as well, just stuck on there. And then you have like this, the windows in general look kind of dated. But if you didn't know, if you don't have that eye, then you would be like, oh, this is a brand new hotel. And I say that because Although the room is beautiful, I love it. It's it's it give it's giving me very Manhattan looking over at Central Park type vibes because when I go to New York and I stayed at those hotels right there, those hotels are old. And you can just feel like the wood, you know. Although it's sturdy and nice, you can just you, you can kind of tell the difference from old wood and fresh wood and some people are very debatable. You have a toilet here, it is the brand Seasons. Um, I do prefer Toto, but this is fine. And it is a manual flush, not a button or automatic flush either. You have a sliding door here. Um, the appliance is here. I don't think it's Cooler or Sloan. Has no name on this one. And then you have a small coffee machine. The brand is Mr. Coffee. You do get Pike Place Starbucks coffee, two waters. The brand is Niagara, uh, Pure Life. Huh, last time I was here was Niagara. Interesting. Um, how, although it is not a pH balance 8.5 or higher, so sorry if that's, if, if, if you prefer that water, the pH balance at 8.5 or higher, you gotta bring your own water for that one, okay? Uh, let me see, I brought some goodies. There we go. Nice lighting. It's not like a, that dull yellow light that we've seen before. It's just very nice light here. Um, let me turn on the lamps. You do have a USB charger, not USB type C. You do have a nice phone here. This reminds me of the phone at the Beverly Hills Hotel by, by Rodeo Drive. Um, you do have two outlet ports, two USB ports, but again, Who's using USB really? I think it's all about USB Type-C at this point. Um, put this here. Oh, this one's... There you go. What is that? That's interesting. I don't know what this is. Maybe that controls that. Um, nice and sturdy. Old fire detector. Probably does the trick though. Nice bed. Let's see. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, the bed's amazing. You know, part of it having a new renovation is the new beds. I do like the um, Art Deco feel here because you see like you have that gold champagne flute and then you have like the modern artwork and the interesting concepts. And it's, that it's almost like they were trying to go for like this modern futuristic vibe, but then it's like, no, 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 no. Let's keep it traditional farmhouse chic. And they did that. So. It's a very interesting style choice 
because you, you'll see things like wood and dark oak and then you'll see things like gold and the browns and somehow even though i don't personally like it somehow it works and there are things in the room that complement it that make it interesting for example the mirror here how oval shaped it is the circle it's those interesting shapes that are met with triangles and strings interesting you know but everyone's a choice i think it's a great value i think the hotel although it is a very 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 old hotel i think that they did a very good job of a renovation style choice to each their own of course uh, but at the same time if, if they go too jazzy if they go too black and white too futuristic if they lean way more to one side it might uh turn certain people off you know this is very neutral if that makes sense couch beautiful couch too mm -hmm. love that um let me see other details i wanted to point out not that i know of you do have a hair dryer down here at the bottom and this does not open up for storage either okay i hope you enjoyed this video of the Sheraton near the galleria updated renovation review and i'll see you guys in the next one bye